It was the most visited show by a solo artist in Tate Modern's history. This summer's Damien Hirst retrospective, bringing together his iconic works, got great reviews from the critics, but not from animal charities. They criticised the artist for a work featuring tropical butterflies hatching and dying in a windowless room. Jane Deeth is here to explain. Jane. Well, Krishnan, it was conceived as a beautiful artwork, the chance to walk amongst hundreds of live tropical butterflies, some emerging from their chrysalis in the gallery. But in the piece In and Out of Love, the butterflies' entire short lives were on display from birth to death. Damien Hirst has said it was about love and realism, life and death. In a video made by the Tate Modern, he talks about recreating the exhibition, which he first showed in 1991. When we started redoing it, I was a bit worried because I thought maybe I'd, you know, because you know you kind of romanticise things from the past. I haven't seen it for so long, I thought maybe it was just like walking around stepping on butterflies and it was all an illusion and it never really works and didn't look good. But it's great to see it back together with the butterflies flying around and happy. Yeah. Yeah. But the RSPCA doubts they were happy. It says Damien Hurst forced them to live in an artificial environment and he should have treated them with more kindness. 9,000 butterflies did die during the show's five-month run. It's been said some varieties died after a few days, which might have lived for months in the wild. And the Peter Foundation says they all suffered. Whether they lived for a few hours or a few days, these butterflies were uh, bred to exist in an artificial environment. And for the ones that were knocked into and crushed and trodden on, uh, their lives would have come to a, a sad and, frankly, a pointless end. Damien Hirst is, of course, famous for using dead animals in his work, like the shark in a tank and a cow sliced in half. But when the butterfly show was tested in the studio, I understand there were problems with the butterflies not hatching properly. Damien Hirst didn't respond to that when I asked, but did say they spent a year making things right for the butterflies. In a statement, he said, a butterfly expert was employed at considerable cost before and for the whole duration of the Tate Modern show. Perfect living conditions were replicated, and this resulted in many of the butterflies enjoying longer lifespans in the, than in the wild due to the high quality of the environment and the food provided. And finally, I spoke today to the man who supplied the tropical butterflies and was on hand throughout. And he told me they chose varieties which live on average two weeks in the wild, and in the gallery they lived longer than that. He said he was happy, the butterflies were happy. Thanks, Jane.